best for soil. Green manures and cover crops. Practical information. Hello, my name is Michaela and I breed cover crops and green manures. In this video, you will learn how to grow cover crops and green manures and why they are an important tool in improving soil health. Cover crops are cultivated between the harvest of one main crop and the sowing of the next main crop. The main reasons to grow cover crops are to protect the soil against erosion, to increase soil fertility, to improve soil structure, to facilitate water infiltration and to retain nutrients in the upper soil horizon. There are several terms for this growing practice and they can be used in more or less the same sense. However, there can be some specific differences in crop management, depending on what your primary reason for growing the cover crop is. When cover crops are incorporated into the soil, they are usually termed green manures. Catch crops are used to avoid nutrient loss, particularly nitrogen leaching. Many different species are used as cover crops. Each has specific advantages and requirements. Some are frost resistant and survive the winter, others freeze down easily. Nutrients taken up by green manure crops are returned to the soil to be utilized by the following crop. A well-informed choice of cover crops improves crop rotations. Cover crops with a pathogen susceptibility different from the major crops in the rotation decreases the overall potential of soil-borne diseases. The best for soil databases are powerful tools to determine which cover crops best fit into a crop rotation. Root exudates and additional organic matter provided by cover crops can stimulate soil microbial activity and influence the composition of the microbial community in the soil. Both factors stabilize and boost the microbial community, which in turn may reduce pressure from soil-borne diseases. One major group of cover crops are grass species, including some closely related to cereal crops. They are fast growing and some species will grow even at low temperatures. Seed for these crops is easily available in all regions of Europe. Grass cover crops can not only be used as green manure, but also for grazing or feeding animals. Most grass species are winter hardy. Another important group of cover crops are brassica species. They are especially fast growing and are therefore good at suppressing weed populations. Some are used to decrease disease incidence in cereal rich rotations, some to avoid nitrogen leaching. Some of the brassicas cover crops are winter hardy, while some are frost sensitive. Another advantage of brassica species are their deep rooting tap roots, which help improve the soil structure. Leguminous species have the advantage of fixing nitrogen and therefore providing this important nutrient to the following main crop. Several legume species are used as cover crops, ranging from small seeded clover to medium-sized vetch up to faba beans with big-sized seeds. Legumes perform best when established early in the season and are mostly used in a mixture with other cover crops. There are several fast-growing species commonly used as cover crops, such as phacelia, buckwheat or marigold. Detailed information on all of these species is published in a Best for Soil fact sheet. Cover crops require the same careful cultivation as main crops. A well-prepared seedbed is essential for a successful cover crop. Nitrogen application is particularly important in guaranteeing a vigorous cover crop. However, similar to main crops, the nitrogen left by the previous crop has to be taken into account. The preparation of the seedbed is essential to ensure a rapid and consistent establishment of the crop. It should be adapted to the specific needs of the seed. Healthy seeds with a high germination rate should be used to ensure successful establishment of the crop. 
Irrigation might be needed for crops grown in summer, especially for fast-growing species such as mustards or sorghum. Selected cultivars should be resistant to the most relevant diseases and pests in the region where they are cultivated. Some cultivars have specific traits, such as containing secondary metabolites, which can have a biofumigation effect. More information on biofumigation are available in a specific video and fact sheet. Some cover crops or cultivars will die off during winter, which helps facilitate their incorporation into the soil the following spring. Such cultivars are not suitable as green manure in the spring, as they will decompose before their incorporation in spring. On the other hand, cover crops grown in summer, especially in southern Europe, have to be heat tolerant. Therefore, the choice of cultivars adapted to the local climatic conditions is critically important. As cover crops can also be host plants for soil-borne diseases, their selection has to fit the crop rotation of the major crops cultivated to generate income. Grass species fit especially well in vegetable production systems, where no grass-related species are grown. Brassica species are better suited for rotations with arable crops, where, with the exception of oilseed rape, normally no Brassica species are grown. In contrast, they don't fit well in vegetable production systems, especially in northern Europe, where many Brassica vegetables are grown. Finally, and most importantly, the choice of cover crop or green manure depends on the primary reason it's sown in the first place. Reduce soil-borne diseases, avoid nitrogen leaching, protect from erosion, increase organic matter. Regardless, the compatibility of cover crops with the rotation of the major crops has to be checked with the help of the Best for Soil databases.